Hello all, it's your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on today. If you would be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, this is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. So please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not. Remember that this reading can apply to your past, your present, or your future, as well as it may be pertaining to you, your lover, your family, your friends, your co-workers, your neighbors, complete strangers, or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. So with that being said, um, we are going to get started. So the first message you have here is spoil, pamper, and love yourself no matter what, okay? So y'all make sure y'all taking care of self, your loving self, okay? Don't be sitting around waiting for somebody else to cater to you, okay? Um, when you love yourself and you appreciate yourself, what it do is show other people that on the outside um, how you expect it to, how you expect to be treated, Okay? based off how you treat yourself, okay? Yeah, there's somebody in your life that you can't trust. It says you can't trust this person here, okay? Um, so you want to be mindful of that as well. You could have a... <laughs> You could have somebody who has come into your life who is uh, spoiling you, pampering you, and all this, that, and the other, but they're not trustworthy, okay? So be careful of that, okay? Oh. Spirit, give us clear and accurate messages. Oh, we have he slash she is cheating on you, a serial cheater. So somebody that you are dealing with is a serial cheater. This is this person that you can't trust, okay? This person may very well spoil you. They may very well pamper you. And when they're in their your presence, they act like um, they love you or what have you. But <laughs> this person is cheating on you, Spirit is saying, okay? Mm -mm. We have Earth here. This person could be an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Or you may be an Earth sign. Okay. I just seen Air. Um, I just seen Aries. Yeah. And then I seen Air. Somebody. Um, there's something with the Air. Okay. You could be dealing with an Air sign. Or excuse me, an Aries here. Okay. There could be an earth sign dealing with an Aries. Or you could be an Aries. Sir, what else is going on? Ooh. I just seen Taurus and Gemini here. Okay, so somebody in the mix of your situation could be a Taurus or a Gemini. I keep seeing both of those signs. Signs. Okay. We have here take a break and relax a while. You need a vacay, rest, and rejuvenation here. Okay. So some of you could be working too hard. You could be <clears throat> stressed out, tired. Okay. Yeah, we got here something, something just ain't right. Reevaluate the situation with an open mind here. Okay. Somebody is definitely dealing with some type of relationship issue. Just period. Yeah. Somebody that's your twin flame. This fell out. Um, this is a last card that flipped over and fell out the deck here. Yeah. So you could be with your twin flame, okay? But Spirit is saying that you can't trust this person. Um, whoever he or she is, uh, is cheating on you. And they're a serial cheater, Spirit is saying. So, like, it's not it's not just one person they have cheated on you with. They could be a serial cheater. We have Earth here. Um, you, somebody could be an Earth sign or there's something significant to you that has to do with Earth. Perhaps you like going out. You know, in the art, you know, doing things or whatever, but I feel like this is more so maybe an earth sign here. We also have Aries here, so specifically, this could be an earth sign, Aquarius, or what is it, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. 
Um, also, we have Aries here, okay? Spirit is telling you that you need to take a break here, okay? And something, something just isn't right. You need to reevaluate a situation here, okay? Somebody could be in your life, whoever this twin flame is that's spoiling you and pampering you. And when they're in your presence, they could act like they love you. But Spirit is saying that you can spoil, pamper, and love yourself, okay? Um, not to say that it doesn't feel good when other persons, uh, you know, gives you that type of attention. But if somebody is giving you that type of attention just to keep you blinded to whatever else they got going on, um, you want to you want to pay attention to that. OK, that's what's going on here, y'all. Let's uh get some further clarification for this situation and see just like what's really going on here. Spirit, please give us clear and accurate messages. Mm -mm. One more shuffle, please, Spirit. I see the fate card here. Something is fated to happen in your relationship. Spirit, clarify you can't trust this person. Yeah, whoever this person is that you can't trust is a masculine spirit is saying. Okay. So to clarify, he or she is cheating on you. He or she is cheating on you. Well, damn. This is weird, okay? Wait a minute, okay? Because you can't trust this person. Masculine came out, but when I shuffle here, she is cheating on you. Feminine came out here, okay? So I look her here. Um, either spirit is telling this masculine that you can't trust the feminine that you was with because they're cheating on you or vice versa. Spirit is telling this feminine that you can't trust this masculine because he's cheating on you. Okay, Spirit may be telling this feminine here. Since feminine came out on this part here, um, he's cheating on you. Yeah, and telling her you can't trust this masculine. Spirit, clarify Earth. Why is Earth here? Why is Earth here? Whoever this Earth sign is has a shadow side here. With the moon energy here, this is moon, dark night here. Somebody is keeping secrets. Somebody is hiding things. Somebody is doing something behind the scenes, behind closed doors, uh, behind your back, Spirit is saying. So you clarify, Aries. Oh, Lord. There is a lie here, y'all. Wait a minute. Ugh. Oh my goodness. There is so much that want to come out here. I'm trying to figure out what needs to be here. So we have truth and expression here. Control tactics. So somebody is controlling. Are using control tactics on someone here. Somebody also has deception and temptation problems. I'm going to keep shuffling and see what comes out. Spirit, clarify Aries. All of those cards try to come out on Aries. Clarify Aries. Clarify Aries, please, Spirit. So we're definitely dealing with an earth sign, a fire sign couple here. Okay. Because both uh, the Ace of Earth as well as the Ace of Fire wanted to come out here, okay? Spirit, clarify, take yourself or, or take a break and relax a while. Take a break and relax a while. So we have here home, uh, we have family home commitment here, okay? So you may want to take a break. Um, this is, spirit is either telling you to take a break um, from your family for a while, maybe go on a like a, a vacation, you know, by yourself or with your friends or something to relax or to unwind or something like that, or maybe you want to take a, some type of break um, or do some type of trip or vacation time or something with your family or with your children or something here, okay? 
I see ego here, vanity and pride here on something, something just ain't right. Reevaluate the situation with an open mind. Somebody has a big ego here. Somebody's full of vanity and pride as well, Spirit is saying here. Somebody may want to, may try to apologize, okay, or may want some type of forgiveness for something here. That's what's going on here, y'all, okay? So, let's see. Spirit, what else? Uh, hold on, guys. I need to get one more. Spirit, clarify the spoil and pamper yourself. Spoil, pamper, and love yourself no matter what. Full pamper and love yourself no matter what. Yeah, so we have growth here. This says summer here. So you can definitely be doing something uplifting, fulfilling to you this summer here. Spirit is saying. Okay. Let's see what else y'all got going on here. Spirit, please give us clear and accurate messages. What are the messages the collective needs to know as it relates to this situation? So we have family at the bottom of the deck here, okay? So... Family is definitely of significance here, okay? You could have, you all could have a family together. Perhaps you all have children together or something here. Yeah, family adventure here. This explains this take a break and relax a while here. So your family could be going on some type of adventure, some type of vacation here, okay? Spirit, clarify um, you can't trust this person with the masculine. You can't trust this person. So we have conflict here. Perhaps you all argue all the time. There's some type of dis, uh, differences between you all, okay? Um, disputions or uh, fights, arguments, disagreements, misunderstandings in some way, shape, form, or fashion. It's very clarify. Um, he or she is cheating on you with a serial cheater and the feminine here. He or she is cheating on you, okay? Somebody is going to find some type of evidence of somebody cheating on them, Spirit is saying. Spirit, clarify Earth here with Shadow Side, Ace of Earth. Clarify this earth here, spirit. So we have apology here. Somebody might apologize here. Uh, they could be feeling some type of guilt. They may come up with some type of confession. They may want forgiveness for something, okay? Spirit, clarify uh, Aries here. Clarify Aries with the Ace of Fire. Clarify Aries. Aries, you could be dealing with some type of stress here, okay? Maybe you something is causing you a headache or pressure, okay? Or perhaps you are getting a lack of sleep, okay? Spirit, clarify uh, something, something just isn't right. Yeah, look at this. Third will, enemy, um, distrust, flirtatiousness, okay? So there's definitely a third party in this situation here. Okay, um, somebody is cheating. Somebody is cheating here. Okay. Somebody, we got pride here at the bat bottom of the deck. So somebody has a really, really high self-esteem. They're very prideful. That's what that ego was talking about. Van vanity and pride. They got a huge ego. Um, yeah, this card literally says self-esteem, self-worth, and ego here. Okay, so somebody is definitely like, you know, full of it, <laughs> full of themselves. Okay. Um, let's see uh, what other messages we get here. Let's Spirit, clarify you can't trust this person. 
clarify you can't trust this person. We have addiction here. Somebody could have some type of addictions. This may be a sex addictions. It could be drug or alcohol addictions here. But somebody is codependent. Somebody may have obsession issues, possession issues. Somebody could be controlling or has a block or restraint in some type of way. Y'all argue quite a bit. Spirit, clarify. Um, he or she is cheating on you. Serial cheater. With feminine and evidence here. So this says not enough here, okay? So this talks about being frustrated in the relationship, having a lack of confidence. Uh, this talks about sabotage, fear, ego, issues, and jealousy here, okay? So we're going to clarify this earth here. Clarify earth. Clarify earth. So we have not today here, okay? So this talks about not dealing with a situation here, avoiding a conversation, call, or person, boundary, still angry about something here. Spirit, clarify Aries. Clarify Aries here. We have the chaser. So the chaser is, uh, the chaser, ooh. This is the chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues here, okay? Spirit, clarify, um, you need to relax. Clarify this, you need to relax here. So we have here paradise here, okay? Spirit could be telling you to go on some type of vacation, take a trip, do something fun or exciting to bring you happiness. Um, this talks about expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other or something like that, okay? Spirit, clarify something, something just isn't right. Something, something just isn't right. Very perfect. Something, something just isn't right. So we have the snake here, okay? This is competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder. The other woman here. So somebody definitely has somebody else. Like, no if ands, buts about it. Spirit clarify spoil, pamper, and love yourself no matter what. So this is abundance here, okay? This says keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss here, okay? Coffin is at the bottom of the deck. This talks about endings, um, bring new beginnings, um, growth, change, liberation, and transition. This relationship may come to an end. Um, like, y'all may end up breaking up at some point in time here. Um, it doesn't seem like something that is currently happening. Like, you know, y'all broke up as of now but this situation may lead to a breakup especially if somebody else is seeing somebody else if somebody else is if somebody is not happy within this relationship because i tell y'all all the time a lot of people don't want to hear it, but most people cheat for a reason you understand this is only a small percentage of people who cheat just because they're assholes okay um just because they feel like they some type of players of pimps and they can get anybody and everybody there's another small percentage of people who cheat because not because they don't love the person they're with but because they have a sex addiction okay and they're trying to fill some type of void that stems from childhood trauma uh rape molestations and all other type of shit that they have been through and that's the only means that they know uh to express with other others um to be to feel love to feel accepted okay um um sex addictions could actually be a, a disability most people most people don't care to really feel uh you know find out these type of things and why these things are but you would be surprised as to how many people have sex addictions who don't even really fully there's very few people who have sex addictions where they're just obsessed with sex in itself the act in itself most people who have sex addictions they're trying to fill a void they're trying to fit in they're trying to be pleasing unto others and those who are like that actually don't even are often not even fully pleased or satisfied during sex they're literally doing it solely to please someone else to make them happy because they know they want it okay but oftentimes that person is still left empty okay because it's like people get what they want from them but you know they're the very ones who's um 
you know, when things don't work out, they're the ones who have fall down, have to pick themselves back up, have to pick up the pieces, have to start all over again. They're the ones who's least loved. There's the ones who's never married. They're the ones, you know, it's like people come through and they get what they want from them, but nobody ever wants. So thus this sex addiction end up, uh, accumulating in them okay and and it it is what it's a it's almost like somebody it's almost therapeutic like okay because it's a, it's a muse that is used to fill a void within them that really can't be filled that way because what is happening what would happen is is all you would attract is low vibrational people who will then come in and take all that they can from you but you are still left there unfulfilled the way you would really like to be okay um other people the the, the vast majority of people like 80 percent of people who cheat um they're they're cheating because they're not happy they're not fulfilled they're not pleased there or something at home it's it doesn't necessarily mean that they don't love the person that they're with but there's something that they're not getting at home that will really be pleasing unto them so they end up cheating okay and those persons it don't always be hopping a sack with somebody else right away it started off as an emotional affair somebody that became a really good friend somebody that was a really good listener somebody who was there to save them or help them or be a shoulder to cry on when when something was going on and it just ended up being that okay but a lot of times when you're the person who's getting cheated on you don't give a damn how it happened how it transpired where it stems from why it's going on all you care about is your own feelings in that moment and the fact that you got cheated on so most people don't really look into why cheating happened and where does it stem from you understand what i'm saying um but um this situation may come to an end here because somebody, like I said, somebody just might not be happy within this relationship and ended up cheating in, uh, or something like that or whatever, but addiction came out on this masculine here. So that's why I said he could have a sex addiction, okay, um, or what have you guys, but that's what's going on here. I have to have a sexology course with you all later. Um, but, um, yeah, most people don't really think about things like that. And that's why most people don't really understand intimacy. Okay? Like, having sex, making love, fucking, and, uh, you know what I'm saying, true intimacy um, is all different things. It all happens different. It all different. Things. It all sounds like uh, intercourse to you, but intimacy can be had without intercourse. Okay, like uh, passion and romance could actually happen without intercourse between people. But th that's a lot of things that, unless you're in that field or study that or something like that, that most people don't pay attention to, don't care. Okay, you just know when your hormones are music are, are moving and you're aroused, you want to have sex. Okay. And that's usually what people do, okay? Spirit, clarify this. Um, clarify this uh, masculine here. It's an unrequited love situation. Spirit is saying that there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. That's the problem. That's the problem, okay? Spirit, clarify uh, someone is cheating on you, the serial cheater here. Yeah, Spirit is saying you need to love yourself first, okay? Yeah. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive here. And that's where the reason why you're in an unrequited love situation here. You don't even love yourself enough, but you expect you expect this, this person to love you more than you love yourself. But you're in an unrequited love situation here, so that's like not going to happen. So what you have is, is two people together who are forcing themselves to, to make it work and neither one of you are happy. Okay? Spirit, clarify... Um, Somebody could act like they want to reconcile here, uh, the situation here, but, um, yeah. So we clarify this Aries energy. Clarify this Aries energy. We have here, hmm. We have here healing family issues. This this Aries could want to heal some type of family issues, okay? But um, like you all's issues may stem from elsewhere here. This Aries, 
with this healing this your family issues this is your love life benefits um as you forgive your parents here okay so there could be some type of childhood trauma that you are harboring deep inside of you that has spilled over into your own personal relationships here thus they are not working okay um yeah, I also see release your ex here. There could also be some type of separation that's going to take place here as well, okay? Spirit is telling you to keep an open mind. That's why Spirit wants you to relax, take a vacation. You know, if you have children, you have a family, go out and do something fun with your family, okay? Um, something, something just isn't right. Something, something just isn't right, Spirit. So we got codependency here, okay? So addictions are affecting your romantic life here, okay? Something could definitely end in a separation here, okay? So that's what's going on here, y'all. We can pull some tarot as well to see um, what other messages Spirit have for you all. Spirit, please give us clear and accurate messages. Spirit, clarify you can't trust this person with this addiction, this masculine and unrequited love. Mm. This might be a king of coins, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo here. Yeah, that's that earth energy that came out here, okay? So to clarify, um, he's cheating on you, serial cheater. So there's definitely heartache and heartbreak in this relationship here. So to clarify this earth energy. Clarify this earth energy. Clarify this earth energy spirit. You could have found some type of messages or something here. There's going to be a major tower that happens here. I feel like you may find out that this person is cheating. Um, this may be through some type of messages or something. Spirit, clarify this Aries. Clarify this Aries. Clarify this Aries energy. We got the Four of Swords here. So you could be really, really hurt by this here. Okay. Yeah, I see the two of cups and the moon here because this person has been hiding a relationship from you here. Okay. Yeah, this has got you stressed. This has got you worried. This has got you in mental conflict here. And it, it the truth is hurting you. Okay. So yet somebody feels stuck. Somebody feels stuck, restricted, or unable to move or get out of a situation. That's why Spirit is telling you to just relax here, okay? Y'all could have a family together. Y'all could even be a married couple here, you know what I'm saying? You can't just get divorced overnight or what have you, or, uh, but that's what's going on here. That's what's going on here, okay? Um, you feel stuck, although there's like betrayal and disloyalty that has really brung this family, brung this relationship to an end here in some type of way okay that's why spirit is telling you to do something fun do something relaxing you need a vacay um you need something um that's going to like re-energize you in some type of way here okay yeah just think of your commitment think of your family okay your commitment to your children and different things like that or what have you don't allow your children to see you all you know broken all up if, if necessary <clears throat> uh, if it isn't necessary actually is what i meant to say okay and you know do something do something fun or exciting with you and your kids here okay or if you have adequate child care or family or whatever, you may just want to take some rela re relaxation time by yourself here, okay? Um, even if you don't leave your state or something like that, okay? Like, you know, if you have a family, a trustworthy family or friends or something like that who could take care of your child for you for like a weekend or something like that. Get you a sweet, pamper yourself, spoil yourself, take yourself on a, you know, to a, a nice dinner, okay? Even if you do it by yourself or even if you have a friend girl or two that can come with you and, you know, y'all do a grown-up slumber party with just your girls or something, you know what I'm saying? Get you a sweet, get you some wine, honey, go have y'all a nice meal, 
go somewhere and dance or something and do something lighthearted do something fun do something exciting whatever you like to do okay um to help you cope with this situation here okay two of wands here so we got uh the two of wands talks about uh decision making action taking moving forward on things having clear vision in things or whatever so you need to make some type of decision this air sign do okay because it seems as if um you you would whoever this king of coins is capricorn taurus or virgo they could be you know stubborn and set in their ways in some type of way shape form or fashion okay and if this person is not willing to let go of their side piece to keep the family together um then that's the reason why this situation is going to come to a separation here, okay? But yeah, you're the one who needs to make some type of decisions here on how you want to move forward, okay? You have to, at the end of the day, if you have children, as it seems like you do here, you have to do what is best for you and, and, and your children here, okay? For you, to be, for you all to be comfortable, for you all to be safe uh, and secure and happy or what have you. Okay, and sometimes you just got to let it go. Okay, but this person is lying uh, and cheating. Okay, they're lying. They're cheating. They're sneaking and creeping around. They're trying to get away with something. This person is going to apologize. They want forgiveness. They want some type of reconciliation here. Okay, but if they're not willing to work on y'all's relationship or change their ways, then what's the point? Okay, that's what's going on here. You may, I see the eight of wands again. You may find some type of messages or like this could be um, text messages, emails or, or something like that. You may see something in some type of message here that was sent to this person from someone. Okay, guys. So that's what's going on here, guys. I do hope that this is giving you all the truth and the clarity that you were seeking pertaining to a situation that you may be dealing with. For those of you who would like to contact me, you can do so at tip.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is shine right like a diamond 36 with the underscore between each word. For any person who is interested in donating to the channel, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. I do thank you in advance. You can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tip diamond 36. Or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash at 36 diamonds. As always, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your babies, honey. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There's wickedness in high places, and there's evil that's lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings. Watch the company you keep, watch surroundings and the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, honey, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared. Because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God.